big one is the European Cup. Champion. I won the cup of cups at that bitch. Let's cup get this started. Bullshit. That's that little Mickey right. Mouse Division Two shit. <laughs> hey, welcome to Showtime with Coop. Insightful BS with Bob McAdoo's back in the house again. Mac, That's how you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm I'm safe. How about you out there in California? I keep seeing the news that California's blowing up out there like Florida. Well, it's all around, but you know what? Uh, our, our governor's keeping us very safe, and my wife is keeping me even safer. I don't go out the house. I don't do nothing. She do everything for me. Well, I, I can't say mine is doing the same, my wife, but I can't say the same thing about our governor. I mean, people are protesting him like crazy. He want to put all these kids back in school and stuff, and these teachers and these parents here in Florida, they're not ready for that. Yeah, and I mean... It's, Another thing too, my, my wife told me this long time ago, cause you know, she's from Italy and she said, Bob in Italy, we never saw a politician on TV. We always had the uh, infectious disease experts on TV talking and we didn't have that over here. You know, they, they did a survey cause we have the Italian channel too. And they talked about wearing masks you know, they said 97% of the people in Italy wore masks. What is the percentage here? 30%? Yeah, it's gone up in the last week or so. But uh, you know, we can talk about that all day. And again, that is a very serious issue. But the one issue I want to get to, to put a little lighter spin to this. Okay. I'm seeing your song, McAdoo, and you telling me, they playing basketball. They have... <laughs> Basketball. Basketball. Hey, they in the bubble. Uh, Lakers played last night. A little exhibition game against the Mavericks. I cut the TV off, Mac. Wow. And they up. I turned around, they lost the game. Yeah, because somebody texted me and said, man, LeBron is amazing. And then I look on my phone today and I saw where the Mavericks won the game too. I'm like, yeah. what the heck happened? And I ain't worried about the Mavericks because the Lakers catch that ass in the playoffs, they're gonna whoop the shit out of them real good. <laughs> but uh, I, yeah. I like the fact that the way the Lakers look, I, I think Deion Waiters was a great pickup for them. Yeah. I can't wait to see a little bit more of J.R. Smith, but right now the Lakers are rolling. I guess the one thing you gotta wonder about because I'm still with the Heat organization is you know, they're in the fourth position, so which meant they would have a home court advantage, but there's no home court advantage for anybody now. When they start the season, and especially the playoffs, that's when I'm, you know, my antennas are up and I'm really paying attention to the competition. That's what McAdoo lived by that when he played. You know, in the exhibition season, he was, he was just getting warmed up. He waited till the, actually, he waited till right after the All Star uh, break to turn it on, uh, scoring on everybody. So I can feel you in that aspect, Mac. But the one thing <laughs> that I look at, if you really look at it, I was very shocked about this, and my son even made notice of this. It looks like those NBA 2K20 games. I mean, the, the video game. That's what it looks like now. And it's, it's really weird, but you know what? Yeah. I'm just glad for it to be back. Uh, the Python sound makes it sound artificial. I wish they would just let it go. That way you hear a little bit more of the coaches, and sometimes you can hear players. I yeah. know I watch some of the UFC fighting and you can hear what those coaches in the corners are talking about. I would like to hear more of that. But again, I'm just glad they're back playing. Well, I think right now, I don't think experience is going to mean anything because yeah. you don't have that crowd there. Right. Intimidating fact and crowd. And, uh, you know, if these young guys, they in a regular gym like practice, right. you're going to see them, I think, they going to spread their wings even better because they, they're not worried about people screaming at them. Uh, people don't want to believe it, but, you know, sometimes I think the home crowd referees, they, they swayed by the crowd a little bit. It yes. ain't going to be no swaying now with no crowd there. I think you get more evenly called games now. On the 30th is when all this gets started, and I – it's not like that long marathon when we play 82 games. This is a sprint yeah. now. And you gotta, yeah. on, you gotta be hitting your marks, keeping your defense assignments, rebound. You gotta do all the little things that it takes to win games because every game is gonna mean something. 
Well, and plus they they gotta they gotta get back. Just think, Coop. They're not in the condition, you know, that they would have normally have been in at the end of the season. So it's what what team can get everybody synchronized conditioning wise. Because you know how some teams are. Some teams blow out of the box quick. Uh, some of them, like you was teasing about me, I didn't start up until after the All-Star break. <laughs> you did <didn't>. you didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I had a chain ball on my leg <laughs> after the All-Star break when I was with the Lakers. <laughs> that, chain, that chain ball came off after the All-Star break in the playoffs. But, uh, you know, some teams start, you know, they hit their mark right there in March and April. You know, you don't, you don't know how this is gonna, you know, you might see a few upsets, you know, could be, 